so in yesterday's class we discussed about what is computer networks and what is network definition we have seen and what are the advantage and disadvantage that also we have seen okay advantage we have seen uh, resource sharing cost saving time saving collaborative user interaction interactive uh, interaction will be happen you know over the usage of the network and the storage storage is more we have used and disadvantage means we need to maintain uh, properly and uh, suppose the network has broken anything is damaged it happen means we couldn't able to retrieve our software or files which have stored in the network okay that we couldn't able to open it and the security reason that is security concern is one of the aspect uh, that is also one of the disadvantage anybody can try to hack our data also if we stored into anything into the drive or anything into the internet i'm saying okay even in the servers everything okay and uh, yeah we need to uh, recruit the expertise in this uh, particular field okay we need to recruit a um, lot of expertise over the to run a network properly means okay these are all the advantage and disadvantage and networks i hope that uh, this will give a clarity what is network what is internet okay that uh, it will give the uh, clarity to you isn't it have we got got some yes, clarity sir. regarding yeah let me go ahead with the next point okay so evaluation of network okay when the network was started sir it is some uh, things is there no that's what that we are going to see that one okay so in the first network came to exist is 1969 okay 1969 but it is not on 1969 previously itself okay that america has taken a giant leap into the network for example uh, i think uh, roosevelt uh, uh, do you have you heard the name uh, roosevelt uh, one of the us president former president of uh, us i forgot his full name oh, sir so, you know president that is what is current who is the current president of us trump sir ah uh, donald trump and previously it was uh, barack obama uh, likewise it will be long back it is uh, roosevelt i think so so that time you know uh, have you seen have you uh, read the second world war second world war uh, uh, the history in your social science or some other place in your social like 10th standard or any your classes not about world war 2 uh, studied world war 1 but partially in 10th uh, world war 2 is uh, <laughs> i should not say it is interesting but it is very uh, thing you know at the time of uh, world war 2 uh, i just it's a story it's story means it's not a thing it has happened okay it's a history it's okay so world war 2 uh, it will be between the uh, countries between the what is the thing uh, uh, there is germany and uh, another another opposite countries okay forgot the country name there is germany and another country that is hitler and another people another set of uh, austria and the uh, britain colonies okay so that time the country named was changed now it is okay so that uh, i not uh, forgot completely i am not completely forgot but little bit i, I keep it in mind that's what so it was the thing but america was not there in the time of world war 2 i mean america means country is there it was not actively involved in the world war 2 it is not participate any alliance of the world war okay so it will be be uh, quite and uh, germany it attacks the japan okay so the time the japan has sent on uh, uh, that is i think air force and uh, it just dropped the bomb on the pearl harbor have you heard the name pearl harbor it still it is there in us hello oh, sir yeah, okay not an issue so it is a harbor one of the harbor you know in the ocean side okay in the sea side okay so then only the america was get more anger and then they dropped the two atom bombs on over the japan that you know yes sir yeah. hiroshima and nagasaki yes very good so that time okay. I, i mean after the long fight the immediately then only the world all the world means the nation all the nations will come to know the power of the america who oh, they are having atom bombs and very nuclear weapons also they are having in those days itself i'm saying it is uh, 30 years itself okay so uh, that two or three decades i think uh, more decades not three decades of course more than uh, 10 decades i think so 1947 45 i think so the the world war it comes to end i think so that the end of the thing only the uno was established the united nation organization just maintaining the peace uh, over the country okay that's what uh, the uno is in the headquarters in the washington no so it was there and the many organization among with the uh, nine organization was in, established there is world bank with this monetary services and uh, you know who world health organization unicef for child and education purpose 
for many purpose for example labor ilo international labor organization for workers okay so like there's many established let me come to the main point okay that time america was think they want to pass the information very secretly to their soldiers only you know for example the headquarters the president passing some uh, all the commander commander means the chief and army major and all is there no uh, colonel major such type of people are there no head hello I'm talking about history yes, i think you are as usual sleeping isn't it no not social class man okay it's computer class okay <laughs> i'm not saying that social class you should sleep it's not that let me come to the point okay that time the america they like to pass i mean the heads of the army you know the airport uh, what is the thing see what we are seeing naval navy ports and uh, uh, normal things that is normal soldiers okay land troop okay so their heads they want to pass some secret information to their soldiers only okay so for that time only they created the encoding and decoding techniques that techniques was will uh, i mean they are more often i mean they are frequently used in the germany germany means there is another country you know so they are using so that time the america want to we need to create a, a special uh, communication uh, network okay communication uh, side or communication type, uh, device we need to create that time the only phone only okay phone means uh, like a wifi sorry not wifi i'm sorry or is it wireless uh, walkie talkie have you seen the pole is and all they are using yes, no sir. yeah so such type of radio devices of course that is a yes, yes. started yeah radio devices they are using so one line uh, sometimes one uh, only one uh, one head they can speak and another uh, people another side of people they can hear only okay few of the device only able to communicate with their uh, headquarters for example from the war place no from the place to contact to the headquarters or to their communicate with the major or uh, head of the uh, that is the soldiers i mean like with the people uh, are there no heads colonel or yes, head major yeah major that we are saying no so they can have the device the america for uh, for this purpose they have established the network and often for uh, uh, communication uh, to make between the offices offices means president office to Uh, another office, many offices, Pentagon like this, many army offices are there, no. So first they introduced like this in the 19, uh, in the midst of 80s, okay, in 80s time, okay, sorry, uh, I'm so sorry, uh, the previous one, 40s, 45, that range, okay. Then so, afterward, first they developed one, they called all the scientists in the America, they called all the scientists in their nation, and they developed the first organization. This is called ARPANET. Okay, American Research Project or uh, that is Agency Network, NET means network. Okay, ARPA NET is the yes. first network. Okay, after the World War, I am saying. Okay, they have established. Uh, okay, suppose I want to pass a secret information to my people. How to uh, how to send the message? How to because if I send any people, what is the thing? They may kill the people. Sir, apna apna onne ka nahi chhe sir network la. There is no network man in the time. They See, they have to pass yeah, through some people. The messenger are there, no? So we have to send through some messenger. Messenger means by the people they have to go to the war place and they have to pass the information. That's all. But it will take time, no? More time. Immediately yes, you want to pass the yes, information. Yes, sir. Man, man. Yeah. So that's what. Vehicle, vehicle, everything, flights, everything is there, but it will take time taken. No, that's what I'm saying. Okay. So first time they all the scientists of America they established. I mean they formed one network. that is called arpanet that is advanced research project network sorry agency network okay so in this agency they developed and they first they introduced in the army part and they introduced in the official communication of america it is not for normal people or any industries it is not only for government purpose okay then later part they they set one foundation they set one organization that is called nfs nfs means not for uh, the car race no it's not the game that is national science foundation okay so nfs net afterward they renamed that is in mid of 80s means 1980s 1980 81 one the type that period of time they they developed our for net the name will be uh, changed into nfs net okay that is national science foundation network okay that is also in the 90s itself the only who can access mean the government agencies government agency means the government can america only okay america and like, like by another countries also they try to establish the network but america is taken a, a large step into and the that too for official works like military of course, officers of course yeah that uh, 
between the president office or many offices are there no uh, yes, like this, uh, what a mayor office such type of official communication just for oral if you want to say in a very short means official communication especially government communication all the government uh, will be there through the computers everything is there the network has formed established okay so wired only wired only they have sent the message okay so this was the first thing you can see this diagram internet is the network of network that is uh, to connect uh, computers of us defense defense means that is army i said no and the different universities uh, state univers i mean state universities means american universities are there no in 90s 16 and all there is no such a private university only what standard only university. yeah there is government only running that uh, education institution no so the type i'm saying the defense defense means army okay the defense academy all the people that is the government officials they have created 1986 and 1980 nfs net what is can you say for full form for nfs national research oh, I'm so sorry yeah yeah i said the nfs that is national research sir okay tappa solrani national science foundation national science foundation yes, man yeah so no, okay sir research is what need for speed is not <laughs> okay so then they reframed in 1980s there is a high capacity network to be used strictly academic and engineering the research that is in universities they have tie up with the university government everything is government only no so all the government yes, academic purpose as well as the defense uh, there is a military purpose afterwards there is no much war much fight is not broken i mean at the time of war not arise because of the just uh, two one decade before what the uh, one or two decades before that world war 2 ends come to ends no so the time the nobody having that much of economy to make a fight i mean to uh, war to create a war so such right they are using to construct their economic their political and uh, academic side also so 1990s only what is the thing the internet is open for the many industries and companies okay actually the private network network means companies the for example uh, industrialists are there no like ways in india ratan tata like ways many people are there no not in india i am talking only in america okay because india is lost the step only we have uh, had the internet 1990s there is no internet okay i mean in america it was there so the internet working of arpa net and nsf okay net were together and other private networks like ways ibm has involved okay many kind of, computers i mean a computer computer company software companies were there no not that much very uh, few only few of them only they involved in the networking concepts okay then they created the established the network over the america and other countries also slowly england slowly uh, there is russia uh, other countries likewise have you understood slowly okay, it sir. goes to the western countries everything it will be spread over the net and finally it's come to the asia continent okay china has taken a large step into the network okay but uh, so far they banned they have their own still now you know china doesn't uh, belongs to the i mean uh, believe anything on the google you know it has banned everything so all the network will be under the government of china okay so so far see they should not use whatsapp they have to use wechat this is a chinese product you know hello oh. yeah likewise many apps are banned even the google android huawei phone you know the recent yes, yeah, that's what yeah so that's yes, what I mean, recently uh, recently means i'm saying the last 5 years before i'm saying the google uh, the terms and policies will not allowed by the chinese government that's what they banned the even every android okay then huawei phone is a chinese product no like with xiaomi redmi we are using no so they banned that yes, one and yes, uh, what is the thing the huawei they produce their own os okay that is the thing like this is many stories i mean many things are there that what you have to search many thing in the internet man okay so uh, 1990 so, china government own more apps sir, sir the own mobile company create yeah sir ha huh. sir yes yes sir, i'm hearing iphone no sir you know iphone ha yeah, yeah iphone also same thing. sir sir those those mobiles will create their own software sir os sir. Hmm. yeah sari rat shekar i didn't get it okay yeah even iphone also as rat yep. shekar said for example there are two type of iphones are there see if you are imported from china 
they have their own version you know the apple they asked the apple company to launch their uh, factory in the china itself you have to prepare the iphone here itself you have to maintain a separate server for chinese people see generally we are, suppose uh, you are using iphone i we are using iphone means we are always connected to the america only because the main database yes, is sir. there that is in us only no so likewise but they not refuse they refuse to uh, send the data to the uh, us okay because now it is more opposite no that one not now previous in the starting of iphone itself okay the chinese iphone is uh, different one okay they have given the chinese uh, language also in that thing okay so that's what we should be uh, very much uh, think about it okay let me come to the point 1990s only the internet that is international network okay that is the full form network what is internet means it is a network of networks very nice nice word i like this word very much you can see network of networks many networks are there it's among the top network is called internet okay so that is globally connected computer that is called as internet okay so 1990s at the middle uh, end of the 1990s it will be available in some of the most familiar countries that that time okay 1990s okay at the later part 91 92 slowly is come, comes to the india also and a few industry industry and uh, companies they have uh, uh, they have used the internet okay then afterwards only it is stepped down into the india okay in our country okay then let me see this uh, that is the story behind the internet when it was created first network is what arpanet that is american research project agency network okay next is nsf that is national science foundation network okay at the last only arpanet and nsf net and the other private networks that is ibm such type of companies they collaboratively they created they established the network okay then finally uh, when the websites are more then www consortium was created okay world wide web consortium it is also in us only that's so already come to the point okay this is internet and the next point is inter there is internet is a definition they given you know a global computer network provides a variety of information communication and facility to access the data okay uh, uh, to any part of the world that is internet okay suppose if i want to communicate or fetch any data from any part of the com- uh, computer which is residing in any part of the world means i can able to connect through the internet concept okay generally we are saying it is a okay, net sir. what is the basic definition network of network network of networks so that is very important part let me go to the next one Inta, intranet internet okay what is intranet sir intranet means like you know intra inter school uh, competition intra school competition likewise is there no inter school competition means many schools will come intra school means for example we have three or four branches means among the school group of schools only okay let me come to the point intranet means it's a local net for example in our school we are establishing sir computer network. lab sir yeah we that is very small in thing for example one computer lab suppose we are having a five or six schools i think so and uh, all the schools are having their own lab all the labs are interconnected okay with the common network okay so that type of network is called as intranet that is a private network see many companies they are using you no know, uh tcs cts or webpro likewise they are having the internet intranet technology only okay work from home the people yes, are sir. working no how means through the intranet yes sir okay so that is the thing it is also a part of world wide web okay that is the www okay so it will be managed by a person or organization intranet we can connect for example we are having our company means from here i can establish one network and uh, with this network you are connecting with your uh, organization so it is a among the organization within the organization we are connecting all the computers all the gadgets all the peripherals uh, computer peripherals that is called as intranet okay that is you can see intranet user can avail service of internet various internet user cannot access the intranet directly the third point is very important could you understand intranet means for example in our lab we are having intranet facility suppose i am saying okay we can use internet okay i may i am a user i am a user of internet now you are having the, your own computer no in your home whether you can yes, access possible. through their school network means it is not possible it is a private no it is closed environment so other people cannot log in yes, cannot possible. able to log into the website that is the sorry uh, connect to the network not website they cannot connect into their 
uh, network that is called intranet okay the third point is very important intranet user can avail service of internet whereas internet user cannot access to the internet intranet directly that is we have to get the permission then only that is the thing so then interspace okay, interspace sir. means let you go to the third point interspace means it's a space between the two communicate uh, communicatable uh, gadgets okay for example let you see uh, intra interspace is a client server software program that allows multiple user to communicate online with real time audio that is for example we are making a video call no it is a space between you and me okay we are communicating through the internet yes. through the internet that is very important so that uh, uh, the space is there no space means we are having a particular channel other cannot join no i mean unless we we add or we may not make a phone call means correct no we are communicating yes, ourselves sir. so it is our personal yes, space sir. like this this uh, uh, terms is called as interspace thing client and server means who is server here means the net provider no for example i am using jio you are using jio okay we are using we are connected to the isp that is internet service provider which is the jio network is a one of the isp okay internet service provider so i am having uh, i am using suppose zoom or uh, whatever app so let you take the whatsapp means okay so whatsapp video call you are also in the whatsapp okay the whatsapp is a server correct no without whatsapp we cannot client we cannot communicate no have you understood yes, sir. so client means who are all the client we both are client only so we are connecting through the whatsapp okay so we are making a phone call or sorry i mean the voice call or we are making an audio call that is different one okay that is we both are client who is server whatsapp is a server who is the network provider network provider means isp internet service provider jio or airtel whatever network no? that is called have you understand this concept so this communication yes, yes, this method of communication is called as interspace okay we are having the inter inter between the two persons or it is a multiple call means for example uh, what is the thing conference call also we are making no in the whatsapp i think five person can join isn't it have you tried conference video yes, call sir. yeah i think yes, maximum five, five or six i think sir yeah, like that maximum. yeah like that so one one facility for example whatsapp one facility skype means we can connect up to number of things see we are using zoom up to 100 for free version or in paid version we can go for up to 200 or 300 isn't it you understand yes sir like this here also we can make a video call i mean uh, i mean video conferencing so many these are all the servers we are using we are accessing zoom is server through the server we are connecting now okay like this whatsapp or uh, we are using that uh, uh, google meet no on two one or two classes yes sir So that is also another platform. Like this, many things are there. We are using. There is online video conferencing. Conferencing means just interactive session. Now I am talking to you. You are talking with me. That's very interactive. It's a conferencing. I can share my slide, and you can share your file also too. That's the many things. That is a called as interspace. It is a interspace. It is a closed circuit. No, we sixteen people are all the, who are all having the link. Who are all known the pass password. That person only can able to access. No, that concept. Have you understood this concept? Yes, sir. Understood. Yes, sir. Good, good. Okay. As I am going a little bit, I am running. Is it? We complete. I mean, let's. No, sir. Okay. No, sir. Not like that. No, sir. What is network? What is network? And uh, advantage of network, disadvantage of network. When the network, I mean, internet was formed. Okay. That is the history we have learned. First is ARPANET and NF NSF net, and finally. the private 1990s the, the net is come to the open for all that is companies and uh, universities and uh, what are the thing industries they use then flow by flow it comes to the normal people now all the people are without net means they cannot do anything am i right that we are in the living in the situation okay so yes, that's the thing so now internet is everybody having it everyone even the small just born baby also they know that very well see whenever we are seeing i have i have astonished many times For example, you people know better than the better than me, better than anybody because the youngsters they know many work, many work in the new latest thing because they are used to it. Always they are running with the gadgets. For example, now you are studying twelfth standard, you know all the smartphones, everything. When I was twelfth standard, I don't know even the normal phone also. So that is a difference. So that's what now the people are uh, uh, that is it's not addicted. They are mingled with the technology. They are. 
for everything they are depend on the technology that's what i'm saying it's not depend it, we can take like that also or else uh, uh, we can say mingled or merged with the technology they are using it more that's a true fact okay for example uh, one say instance i have think about it for example if i want to add a number in my schooling or in my of course school times i am i won't use that time there is no calculator calculator is a little bit expensive product normal calculator i'm saying okay or else mobile phone it's not that much available we have to do all the calculation this multiplication or whatever thing we are doing now if i ask anything to do calculation is immediately what you will do you won't go for the calculator and all because calculator is not available it is rare but you are taking your mobile phone even me also if anybody giving adding two numbers okay one minute i will open my calc in my mobile like this we are opening we are dependent no that's what i'm saying isn't it we are not ready to yes, see sir. if you want to learn any meaning for a new word what you will do immediately you are just googling it isn't it instead of just taking the dictionary and searching that reading habits through the book it will be i think little bit is vanishing so letter writing how many of you posting letter is any <laughs> now what is it is letter is it any meaning no na correct no sir so very rare very rare purpose that is uh, we didn't use the letters just we are sending the mail or whatsapp just texting it immediately instantly we are using okay now the technology is very much we are come the video calls or virtual calls like this we are doing that one okay that is the inter interspace okay internet we have seen inter intranet we have seen and interspace we have done it okay let you go to the next concept okay this concept is entirely uh, uh, different one uh, this is screen behind the screen what are the thing behind the screen how it is ex- executing that is the concept okay um, okay this part i have to explain so far what we discussed that is one part one part is completed okay now switching techniques switch is a device okay that is you can see switching techniques are used to transfer the data across the network okay switch is a, like a device okay it's a networking device you can see Uh, i hope you are seeing the lab in lab have you seen or not only lab in any place you have you seen one uh, shelf like what they may mount it in one place mount means i am saying they fix it in one place have you seen have you seen that yes. one minute i will keep i will show the image and just try to open the google somebody come and chat as usual i couldn't able to open the chat ah, now it's opening okay gautam gautam good see i am there is the highest number of present sir what highest attendance today yes sir only one absent kiruba alone and that oh, that's okay. all present sir okay okay see yeah, in this type okay i will show the image then uh, see have you seen such type of images this is called switch i want yes, this have you seen this type of boxes in cctv camera or many things they may keep that one yes sir this is called server rack or this is called yes sir rack. okay this is let me i will show the switch switch is this one, one. separate room is there in our school yeah. in every floor yeah yes, yeah sir control room sir it's not control room this is called switch which i highlighting one And this is I'm selecting a, a maximum. Sir, it's a switch. It's called switch. I will tell this. It's a switch. Okay. What is switch? That I will explain it. Okay. Let me come to the point. This is the connectivity. It provides the connectivity between the what is the thing? Uh, one network with other network. That is the thing. I will explain with the slide. You can understand better. Okay. Initially, you just learn it. Later part, you will get the clarity. Clarity. Okay. In large number of networks, it might be multiple paths inter- linked with the sender and receiver. Okay. There is in- information may be switched as it travel through various communication channels. If you want to connect all the network, for example, why it is used in your school? I mean, in our school or many places means all the com- computers are get connected, no interconnected. For that case, we are connecting, we are creating the network. Okay. For that, many type of switchings are there. First, you just learn the theoretical one. then you can easily understand the practical one okay circuit switch packet switch message switch three type of switching techniques are there okay circuit switch packet switch and message switch okay there is switching techniques okay let me see later by uh, one by two so what is circuit switch sir if i asking first it's a complete physical connection circuit means we are establishing the uh, circuit circuit, uh, circuit means uh, we are connecting all the computers uh, 
for example i will again i will show the thing for example here are you seeing no this type of rack here yes, what, where we are using yes, is all the computer behind the uh, computer i mean cpu you may see this type of cable that is called as ethernet cable have you seen this type of cable yes sir the network cable yes, you no know, that is network cable we are seeing that is called ethernet cable okay the network cable where it will be get connected means you may see in your uh, lab if you are seeing means it be connected to on io port one behind that one chamber will be the message okay so it will be connected directly to this type of switch network have you seen so this is what is the use means yes, all sir. the see all the wires all the from one one computer it will be get connected so this is the device yeah have you seen i am pointing no or else in this uh, right hand side this is a device is used to connect internet interconnect interconnect not internet interconnect all the computers that means what from one computer to another computer we can easily send any message or we can share the data what are the possibilities we have seen uh, advantages we have seen no we can share the resource we can share the printer okay so we can share whatever uh, hardware uh, equipments or we can connect the computers we can connect with whatever computers also where and all which computers are connected to this switch have you understood Yes, sir. So, yeah, that is the yes, sir. So that is the use of circuit switch. They see whenever when call is placed, call means we are uh, call means not the phone call. I am talking whenever we are communicating, we are trying to communicate with the other computer. The place the switching equipment within the system seek for a this I mean a physical copper path. Copper path means the wire. Okay, so through that wire or wireless. Nowadays we are using wireless also. but so far we are using wire only maximum yield okay that will be more efficient and cost wise also very easy that's what okay so it must be set up end to end end to end means from one computer it want to connect to the switch from the switch is like a uh, how to say that it is a, like a junction you know like a junction means all are connected to it all the paths all the computers are connected to the core path that is called as junction have you understood the word which i yes sir called? yes sir. Yeah. this is called as circuit switch okay so that time whenever we want to communicate with any computer through that it will be sent okay one minute okay. then packet switch okay the packet switch introduce the idea of cutting the data that is what is the use means you can see uh, the data will be i will show that on uh, easy method so for getting the idea of what is packet what is which i will just uh, show on video regarding that you can try to understand it okay just a minute Could you able to see the screen, the VLC screen? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. So I will just maximize this one, and uh, you can start to see this uh, with audio. Okay. Yeah. With apologies. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Now, a topology is the layout of how a network communicates with different devices, and there are a couple of different categories of topologies. There's wired and wireless. So we're first going to talk about the most common wired topologies. And the most common wired topology that's used is the star topology. Now in a star topology all computers are connected to a central wiring point such as a hub or a switch. All data on a star network passes through this central point before continuing to its destination. Now one of the major benefits of this topology is that if one computer failed or if there was a break in the cable the other computers would not be affected because each computer has their own cable connection see children this is your part of your uh, uh, chapter that is uh, in your chapter the star topologies are there if you have the book means you can search star mesh bus topology ring topology like as many five type of topologies are there so what is topologies means you have seen the definition now you are seeing the star topology that time i will just uh, just recap only the concept just understand very clearly are you understand are you listening no properly yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. however a disadvantage of the star topology is that if the central hub or switch fails then all the computers on that central point would be affected and this is called a single point of failure If this happens the entire network goes down. Another type of topology is called ring. 
The ring topology is a type of network configuration where each computer is connected to each other in the shape of a closed loop or ring. So every computer on this ring has exactly two neighbors for communication purposes. Each data packet is sent around the ring until it reaches its final destination. Now this kind of topology is very old and is rarely used today. Now the advantage of a ring topology is that they are easy to install and easy to troubleshoot. See, this type of ring topology is very old because the message is not that much of uh, uh, secure. For example, this is, I'm pointing, no, this is A computer and this is B computer and C and D computer. Four computers are there. The first computer person, they want to certain, send some personal message to the B computer or I'll suppose C computer, the third computer, okay. Is it possible the message want to trans travel through this computer and it will reach the C computer, am I right? Correct, yes, no? sir. So the, yes, sir. The, also, this person also can be able to read the message. Okay, that's what it's a very old technique, but you have to, but it's very easy to uh, configure the network. Let me see this. However, the disadvantage would be that if just one of these computers goes down, or if there was a single break in the cable, then all data flow would be disrupted. Have you got it? One cable is cut also. Yes, sir. All the, the next one down. is the bus topology. The bus topology is very old technology and like the ring topology, it's not used today that much. This is the kind of network setup where each of the computers and network devices are connected to a single cable or backbone. And this backbone is a coaxial cable. The computers connect to this cable using special connectors called BNC, which are also known as T connectors. One of the advantages of the bus topology is that it is also fairly cheap and easy to implement. However, a disadvantage of the bus topology is that it requires that the cable be terminated at both ends using terminators. In order for this setup to remain operational, there must not be any open connections, including the ends that attach to the computers. So if a computer is removed or if the terminators are loose or missing, then the cable would be open and then data would bounce back. And this bounce is known as signal reflection. And if this happens, data flow would be disrupted. See, in this type of bus topology, we are using in the cable connection, the TV, uh, now we are using always using the, what is the disconnection, no? So previously, have you seen the cable connection once, uh, Anything is any one part is broken means we cannot get also the TV, no, the channels we should be able to see. Have you seen this type of cable? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. From your uh, uh, cable. No, party with the sir. In your home, it is not there, isn't it? There. Yes, sir. But this is for sir. This is also, man, same thing. In this, you are connecting to the one wire, no, to the uh, to your uh, what's the TV or the set of box. You have seen that one same type of cable we are using that is called coaxial cable. Have you oh. seen this type of cable, the black color, yes, sir. Or whatever yes, sir. yes, sir. So this is called coaxial cable we are using. This type of cable also we are we were used. I still remember when I was studying my UG in my computer lab, it was connected through the type of coaxial cable. Okay, but this type of nowadays we are using the Wi-Fi or fiber optics no? that was more advanced. Let me see this remaining also. And there was also the mesh topology. Now in a mesh topology, each computer on the network is connected to every other computer on. That is the star is just passing the message between the computers. Okay, that you please understand. Yeah. On the network. So by having so many connections, it handles failure very well. In this illustration, there are four computers with three connections on each computer, which makes a total of 12 connections for this network. Now, the advantage of a mesh topology is that it creates a high redundancy level because if one or more connections fail, the computers would still be able to communicate with each other. However, because of the amount of cabling and network cards that have to be used, mesh topologies can be expensive. So they are rarely used on local area networks or LANs. They are. Have you understand the mesh topology? Because each computer what is connected yes, with are more connection. So one of the connection is lost also. Remaining connection through the connection, it will receive the data. So, but it is expensive as you seen, yeah. 
ஒன் <laughs> In fact the internet is a good example of a mesh topology because the internet is made up of numerous routers all over the world that are connected to each other to route data to their intended destination so even if a few routers go down the data will get rerouted using a different path to ultimately reach their destination so the internet is very redundant because it's using a mesh topology So now we're going to talk about wireless topologies. So let's start with the infrastructure wireless topology. Now this topology uses a combination of wired and wireless devices. Now this is very similar to a star topology where you have wired devices such as these computers here physically connected to a switch and you also have a wireless access point that's also connected by a cable to the same switch. The wireless access point is here so that wireless devices such as laptops, tablets, cell phones, etc can connect wirelessly to the network. So the wireless access point acts like a bridge between the wireless network and the wired network. Now the infrastructure topology is not limited to a single wireless access point. In fact, you can have multiple wireless access points if you want. It just depends on the needs of the network. and the next wireless topology is ad hoc ad hoc is a very simple wireless topology and it's simple because it doesn't rely on any infrastructure such as cables routers servers or wireless access points all the devices in an ad hoc network wirelessly connect to other devices in a simple peer to peer network they directly connect to each other without using a centralized device such as a Wi-Fi router or access point and because they directly access each other without a server or router in between each device is responsible for its own security and permissions see this type of only we are connecting no see suppose from that bluetooth speaker are there our printer is there it's a wifi printer or anything means we know any any special device okay through our wifi Uh, card is already present in our computer no so through the nic card there is network card wifi uh, con- adapter through that we can pass the information see how we are getting the wifi correct no suppose you are ha- sharing your hotspot another people also your friend also will get the internet no you are sharing your internet no yes sir. yeah so this is called adapter adapt uh, topology in this topology what is the thing there is no need of any router okay no need of any special device no need of any switch okay so directly we can share it that is peer to peer means one to one that is i am for example one to one means in the sense of uh, i am saying for example i am uh, open my hotspot okay then who are all able to connect with my internet then i am sending to the uh, data i mean providing the data to the people i mean the devices have you understood wi yes, fi yes, is sir. there wi fi uh, that is you know bluetooth uh, uh, wi fi uh, speaker also there everything okay Yeah, please listen. Ad hocs are useful for setting up a quick wireless network on the fly where devices can share data without the need of an existing wireless network. And the last wireless topology is called a wireless mesh. Wireless mesh topologies are similar to wired mesh topologies where devices are interconnected with each other but with the exception that they are wirelessly interconnected. So for example, let's say you wanted to deploy multiple wireless access points all throughout a building so that wireless devices that are in different areas are able to access the internet. So normally you would have a modem that brings in the internet to the building and then you would also have a switch that's connected to the modem and then you would connect each wireless access point with a cable to the switch. So by doing it this way this requires extra cabling 
and they would also require extra time running the cables through the building. See, as you are seeing, this is a wireless mesh. Mesh means multiple connections we are getting. So, for example, if you are having the phone in one of, one of your room and you are uh, sharing your Wi-Fi, if you are going uh, apart from the range, will you get the network? Will you get the internet? No, no, sir. A little bit. It will be support. I mean, it will be supply at up to certain, that is 10 meters or 20 meters, up to certain level only. Okay. So if you just go low, long back means, for example, you are having two stories building or three stories building. Okay. So whether you are having only one Wi-Fi, one, only, only one Wi-Fi router, like this I am pointing, no? If you are having means whether it will be support for all the computers in your home, all the laptops or tablets or whatever thing, gadgets you are using the internet means, it will not provide that much. Okay. For example, this type of thing, one router you are using, uh, I mean, sorry, one uh, that is wireless access point, WAP we are using, the one uh, modem we are using. Suppose the modem is failed also, not an issue. From another thing, we also get connected. Have you understand this one? Yes, sir. It's yes, called wireless mesh. So one this second. is more expensive and more time consuming. Now a wireless mesh topology would be similar to this setup but without the need of these extra cables. In a wireless mesh, each wireless access point will talk to other wireless access points to create a seamless internet connection for wireless devices to connect to. So if this laptop over here wanted to access the internet, it would connect to the nearest wireless access point, and then this access point would relay the connection to the next access point and then to the next one, and then eventually find its way back to the modem. So no matter which access point that you're connected to, you will still have internet access because all the access points are in constant communication with each other and the modem. And even if one or more access points were to fail, it wouldn't matter because the other access points will reroute the data. So a wireless mesh topology is very redundant because the internet connection is spread out over many wireless access points. Have you understood this one? Hello. Yes, yes sir. sir. So a little bit you will come to know what is, yes, how sir. the data we are, how we are connecting with the internet. So that concept we have learned. Okay, tomorrow I will just showing some uh, examples for circuit switching, message switching, and uh, one more packet switching, okay then you will know the common terminologies. That is the data communication terminal terms, okay. Bandwidth means, this is your homework today, okay. What is channel, what is bandwidth, okay. Heads, that is HS and the kilohertz, meha heads, okay. We are having no kilohertz, meha, that much of frequency yes, you are receiving in the Wi-Fi, okay. Okay. And data transfer rate, that is DDR, that is, uh, uh, see you are seeing that 100 MBBS, per, uh, you can see in your mobile, 4.7 kbps or 4. sorry mbps that much of speed is there no that is the thing so whenever we are using the optical cables i mean uh, fiber optics cable i'm saying okay then you will get the gbps okay so far we are attaining at the level of what mbps that means MBPS. what megabytes per second okay per second the so these uh, terms you just go through you have to refer the internet and get to get the things to be ready in the tomorrow's class and tomorrow we will complete this one along with the circuit switching. Then you will come to know okay. how the data will be flowed. Okay, students, very nice time with you. Thank you to all. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you sir. sir. Have a good day, sir.